But should I need some help getting this bearing off the shaft? Yeah, I think I can work something out. Should be able to make a puller to get that off. What I thought we could do is take some one and seven eighths inch tubing, and I'll cut it with the Femi 120XL bandsaw, which is super accurate. And I cut some tubing of this, so five inches long, five eighths by eleven threaded rod. Make a couple of plugs with a mag drill, thread and tap one, cut a notch in the other one, cut some notches into it, weld it all together, and it looks something like this. Oh, that's cool. Wrench on here, and it should pull that bearing right off. So how do you put all this together? All right, I can show you. For the top piece, started on a piece of three quarter inch plate, use the VersaDrive combi drill tap and the mag drill adapter. I use the JCM 200 Auto mag drill, Drilled and tapped, 5 8 11 hole. Did a really nice job threading. Did it with a mag drill, did it in one oh, shot. Okay. Then I took a two and a quarter inch carbide cutter and without repositioning the mag drill, I cut out the slot. Cut that out because it gave me a nice inch and 7 8 slug. Then for the bottom, I just drilled a 5 8 hole. For this hole, I utilize the automatic feature of the drill. Same for the bottom, just cut it out with a two and a quarter inch cutter. Then I took and cleaned them up a little bit, took the top hat part off, and so then this one, I put in the vise. I use the WSG 17150PR and the flash cut GP 6x045 cut off this. quickly cut out oh, the, to make cut notch, out the notch, yeah, right? So cut out the notch, that. right? But when I was doing that, I discovered that my piece is too thick to fit under the bearing. So I took and I sliced it in half. Using what? Used, I just used the same cut off disc on the, oh, you cut that on the grinder. Okay. Yeah. And then I took a couple of guesstimate measurements and I drew out my, my notch here for the bearing and the rock shaft to go in. Went to the band saw again and I cut a little notch here a little notch there, and I took and clamped that in the vise again, same cut off disc. Looks like that, and then I went to my welder and welded it up. Welded a nut on the end of the Piece of 5 8 uh, ready rod that I have. A little bit of grinding, put a little bit of a point on the end of it, and it should work well. All right, can I take this bearing off now? Should be able to. Perfect. Super easy. That's awesome. Yep. Pretty much a borderline certified repair guy now. Yeah, we'll teach you some tricks. Here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is awesome. Thank you. No problem.